Hey folks, this intro video in the Animation Exercises playlist focuses on how to animate. The big idea with the mechanics of animation is timing and spacing. You place an object somewhere at given points in time, and then you've got movement. So let's go and add a little bit more animation. So I'm going to go to another layer. Let me choose a different color. And this time around, I'm going to choose a different brush size. And I'm just going to go and put a dot. Go forward in time, put a dot, forward in time. And every single time I click forward, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new piece of artwork because what I'm trying to do is to build up all of the keyframes so that way when I hit the play button I'm gonna have some kind of movement now notice how I'm hovering over every single time you could see the cursor as well um, before I click the next button next frame on my keyboard I'm gonna move to get the spacing that I want and then I'll click okay let me hover and scoot over a bit Go forward in time, click. Okay, so you're gonna just do this a bunch of times. And once you feel like you got it, you can go hit the play button or you could scrub through and move the animation around. So you're just trying to get movement this time around. So I would encourage you to go do that. Okay, let's use a different approach this time around. Most animation software packages have the onion skin feature, a tool that helps you see previous and upcoming drawings. In this segment, you can see new artwork being placed frame by frame. As I continue to make yellow dots, I'm paying attention to the red onion skin instances to help with the placement. The goal is to get the objects to move across the screen smoothly. I also like to work in reverse. I started this yellow circle in the middle of the timeline in, it, in the middle of the screen. Using the onion skin feature to place objects as I move backwards in time is also a good technique. Now if I go and hit that play button, we can see what the animation is going to look like. Which is pretty fun. Now there's one more thing that I want you to try to do with this exercise. And it's basically to try to finesse the timing. So, one other handy technique is to place the drawn objects along an illustrated vector. I like to call these paths of action. The hash marks that cross the line indicate where the drawing will be placed. Try to imagine the object teleporting between hash marks. That's the magic stuff that makes animation work. This is also related to a concept called the persistence of vision. Anyways, if you want to finesse the timing, you put the marks further away for fast movement and closer together for slow movement. Give it a try, Let's see what happens. Okay, time to go play the animation. Let me turn on my camera mask. Let me hide this, uh, this sketch that I have here because that doesn't really, doesn't need to be shown as I hit my animation I play. Let's see what we got. So right at the beginning, we've got that fast animation because it's kind of teleporting from one space to the next, to the next, to the next. Over here, it's not teleporting that far of a distance. So the whole idea that I want you to try to consider is, is like, how can I make quick movement? How can I make slow movement when I consider the spacing? All right, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do me a favor, go mess around with this and try to make a bunch of moving dots and uh, yeah. And uh, I'll see you during the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.